Hey, good morning, kids. It's uh, not that early, not as early as I'd like it to be. I wanted to leave a couple hours ago, but uh, the buyer wasn't going to be, or the seller wasn't going to be ready. The buyer was ready. I'm the buyer in this situation. <laughs> the seller wasn't going to be ready. It's, uh, it's about 32 degrees. And uh, it's beautiful here. It's not bad. Weather's nice. So it should be a fun day. Going back to Cleveland. So I'm going to drive about four hours north, get the cabinet, and then come home. So let's go ahead and begin the journey together. All right, let's head out there. Okay, so the acquisition is complete. I am here at Lumpy's Ice Cream, just south of uh, Cleveland, and sadly they may be closing their doors forever. One thing they did do, one, one part of their legacy will live on in my arcade, and it is what is in the trailer right now. And given the name and the fact this is an ice cream place, it's very fitting. Thunder. Ah, thunder. Okay, so there you have it. Arctic Thunder is home. It's not in the arcade just quite yet. A couple things to go over with this machine in particular. If you're not familiar with this, besides the fact that it's a part of the Thunder series, there's multiple things going on here. First off, the seat is not just a seat. Inside, you've got a rumble motor and a subwoofer. So right now you hear some of the audio. It's got no bass at all. Trust me, when you plug this in, you definitely hear that for sure. Inside this cabinet is not just a single board. It is a PC running Windows 2000, I believe. The hard drive, I think, is not original. I think it was actually replaced, not with a solid state drive, though. Um, just another hard drive, but uh, this is a big old mechanical drive from back in the day. I think you can swap these out for solid state, which is something I may do in the future. Other than that, everything seems to work okay. A uh, lot of little things I'm going to have to work on. They do sell, Suzo Hap sells a replacement seat. I might go ahead and get a new seat. The T molding for the most part, the artwork is all in good shape. It just needs to really be clean. The white is going to have to be clean. But my hope is uh, oh, uh, things like the hardware. Rusty. Can't have that. Can't have that. So I'm going to change all these screws out with some stainless steel and uh, just clean everything up, put it all back together, maybe spray paint the, uh, the floor, this, uh, this material, this mat, whatever this is, maybe spray paint that black after it's clean. And that's about it. I think I'm hoping that when I clean all this uh, fiberglass plastic pieces, the white is really going to react to that black light inside the arcade. But this is definitely something that I wanted to get because it's different. It may not be the most popular game in the uh, Thunder series. It is the last one that Midway did before Raw Thrills took over. But it's something different. I have my driving cab uh, with uh, Cruising World. going to have this one. And then maybe, just maybe, we'll be getting another driving cab in the future but something a little bit different is what i wanted to have with all these different cabinets but anyway i got a ton of work left to do on this thing it's got to be clean before it goes downstairs in the arcade and then we're going to do the normal stuff we're going to change out this bulb for an led light and all that uh but for the most part this thing is in really good shape of course the monitor like always uh it's going to have to be tweaked just a little bit but the one thing i did notice on this is because it is a pc 
you're running, I think it was just a, a VGA cable out. So the options for this are going to be made much simpler. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this channel, everybody. Y'all have a blessed day, and I will see all of you next time.